All right, this is first grade, module three, lesson eight. And in this lesson, students are going to learn that they need to use the same units when comparing measurements with other students. For example, students could be measuring the same object um, two students could be measuring the same object, but one student might be using large paper clips, another student might be using small paper clips, and even though they're measuring the same object, they're going to come up with different answers, and that makes it difficult for us to compare uh, measurements. So we need to do this because, you know, uh, adults, this is kind of like common sense, no duh, of course, uh, but it's not common sense for students. And so these lessons, a series of lessons that we're in right now, is designed specifically to bring that to the forefront for our students so that for them it becomes common sense just like it's already common sense for the adults. So let's get an example going here. So just as an example of what we're talking about in terms of the need for students to be using the same units of measurement when comparing each other, um, we have the same pencil here, but one student might be using large paper clips, in which case that student would get, oh, it's about three paper clips long, while another student might come up with um, a different measurement simply because she uses different size paper clips. Oh, four paper clips. So we can clearly see that it's the same pencil. Um, but one student might say, oh, it's three paper clips long, while another student might say it's four paper clips long, and it sounds like we're talking about two different pencils. And that's really to highlight the, the importance of using the same measurement units when we're comparing with one another. The idea is we could also be using centimeter cubes um, here to measure this pencil, or we could even be using uh, toothpicks, <laughs> this little piece of brown stick thing is a toothpick, all right? So we could be using toothpicks as well. So um, a whole variety of non-standard units can be used um, to measure objects, and in order for students to compare with one another, we need to be using the same measurement unit. And so we can put that into practice in, in the class. You can, as teachers, parents, have your kids run around the classroom or run around the, the house measuring objects. And you can have students um, choose their own measurement unit. They can be using centimeters, centimeter cubes, uh, small paper clips, large paper clips, or toothpicks. But once they've chosen a particular unit, they need to stick with that unit in order to measure all of these things. What you can do as a debrief is you could say to all your students, oh, okay, all the, all the small paper clip students, get together in a group and compare your measurements. And of course, students are going to be relatively close to one another because they've all used the same measurement. Meanwhile, you could say, all your centimeter cube students, you guys get into another corner and compare your measurements um, for your objects that you guys measured. This is a really awesome time for math to come alive, for students to feel empowered to choose whatever measurement unit they want to choose so that they can be in charge of mathematics rather than mathematics being in charge of the students. And that wraps up, let's see, first grade module three, lesson eight, where students are learning about the importance of using the same unit so that students can compare their measurements with one another.